out. That it is uh, two twenty. So February twentieth, twenty fourteen, and this is um, oh I don't know I we're calling it uh, Youth Voices Live Seven, um, and um, we have some students from Judge Memorial Catholic High School in Salt Lake City, and some students from Fremont High School in Oakland, California. Uh, to talk to each other, and I'm just going to be here encouraging you all to keep sharing with each other. Uh, quick introductions, and then let's uh, jump in. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. So, I'm Cassidy, and uh, last week I did physical exercise, and I think this week's topic was more towards fashion, and my friend Carter over here is going to talk a little bit about his um, research project. He did hipsters, so we're going to let him talk about his a little bit, and then we'll talk about Fremont. You guys can introduce yourselves first if you want to. Cassidy, I don't, I don't, I don't want to jinx the process here, but I don't think you need the headphones. You don't you need the try, headphones. You want to try it without? Sure. If last week try. it worked without. We'll Let's try, it try it that way. Can you hear? Oh wait. Yeah, we can still can hear. hear us? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I think that'll work. Good. Great. Okay. So, you want to introduce yourselves? There you go. Hi, I'm Carter, and I did kind of like fashion because it's hipsters, and it really was like, because hipsters was a term around the jazz age in the 20s, actually. And it's obviously changed to what it is today. And anybody can really be a hipster today if you like shop at a thrift shop or Urban Outfitters or something. But back in the day, it was like it was act it wasn't hipster. It was hipster. So it'd be like, oh, that's a hep cat. Like that's pretty fresh or something. I don't know. But it was really associated with jazz music and people like um, Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack and. All of them. Yeah. Cool. Say your name again. I'm Carter. Carter. And between Cassidy and Carter, we have. Hi, uh, I'm Evan, and I did my project on Mars, so it doesn't really relate to fashion at all. I don't know if that's the occurring theme, but I did mine on Mars and like how we're exploring Mars and stuff, and like how there's like a there used to be kind of like a mini space race going on between the Soviet Union and America. And like we have two rovers on Mars right now exploring around. And I was going to research like like professional opinions on whether or not we could be there in the future or like if it's too uh, desperate as a planet to live there in the future. I don't know, the future of space exploration, I guess, would be my main topic. So do you guys, what are you guys at Fremont doing for your research? Um, um, my name is Danik, just, I don't know. <laughs> and my senior project is about fashion, but I'm looking through fashion as a bullying in school. And so I was thinking about if school could just get uniform for public school, high school. Yeah, and I did some minor um, field research from, I joined this program, it's Up and Down, and last week I was went on a field trip, and then I interviewed some of the students, like what they were thinking about school uniform, and some of the staff, if they were, like, is it a good idea, is it going to be, in, I mean, decrease the violence in school or not, yeah. What did they say about, what did the interview say about that? Um, most mostly uh, students would uh, like say no to the uniform. They said that they couldn't express themselves like the way they want to look. And, so, and then, yeah, they said it's not really increased I and mean, decrease the violence because hmm, violence still happens in some way. Like they're still making fun of each other. Yeah. Um, um, do you guys think? Like, do you guys like not having a uniform? Um, I love the fact that we don't wear uniforms. <laughs> Same here. 
Yeah. <laughs> For me, I think it's okay to have uniform because I feel like everyone would look the same and no one would make fun of you or what you're wearing, something like that. And since I'm living in Auckland, there's all violence, you know, and they try to make fun of you or what you're wearing. But I don't see any happen in my school, but I don't know. <laughs> Like, I personally like the uniform because I never have to pick out anything to wear every morning. I just wear the same thing every day, so I don't have to worry about that. And, like, everyone else is wearing the same thing, so there's no pressure. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, you don't have to pick out what you're going to wear. Because I have a problem, like, on the weekend, like, I have no idea what I'm going to wear. Like, you're going to go out with friends, and it takes me hours to pick out what to wear. So in the morning, I don't know how you guys do that. So I'm kind of thankful for the whole uniform thing. But I think that's a really interesting topic. So I think you'll find a lot of information on that. Yeah, thank you. I have a question. Like, is it, have you been like a witness or a victim in your school if you see someone get bullied or by what they're wearing or something like that? No? No. no I usually no. Mm -hmm. Not for clothing. No. Okay. Ruby, you no. want to introduce no. yours? No, not right now. Uh, Ruby's gonna. Ruby oh has my, a great no, Matthew. Oh. Okay. Danish, I just want. I, I, I just want to add that um, I think you need to talk to middle school kids because <laughs> yeah. that's where a lot of bullying happens. But, yeah. I was working with my nieces because they went to um, uniform, but I don't have a chance to have talk with them yet. So. <laughs> So I, you, you guys a judge. I, if you said you guys had a uniform. You do, but what is your uniform? It's not obvious. Oh, Look at you guys. <laughs> these Oxford shirts, just the yeah. judge logo. Yeah. We wear uh, these like khaki shorts, right? Like this. And you have to wear a belt and socks. <laughs> like yeah, and you get in trouble if you don't have the belt or the socks. So you have to wear that every day. And then when it's like winter time, you can wear a sweatshirt. But then, like, first quarter and fourth quarter, you can't wear the sweatshirt. It's like if it's raining, you know, first quarter. Suck it up. <laughs> yeah, you have to walk up the hill when it's raining or snowing, which sucks. <laughs> and they have to be, like, they have to say judge on them. You can't just wear, like, a black sweatshirt. So they all have to have, like, judge on them. Yeah. Kind of difficult, but... At least you don't have to pick it out in the morning, because I'd have to wake up like an hour earlier to figure out what I was going to wear. <laughs> hey, do they allow you to wear jackets and then take it off at school? Um, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ha but it has to be judged. But if it's a different, like, non-judge, you have to take, you're forced to take that off. Like. So you can wear any jacket you want to school as long as you're not wearing it during school. Yeah. So what are the consequences for not following the rules? Uh, they can give you a detention, is basically it. <laughs> yeah. So fun. <laughs> yeah, we don't we have don't detention, have that's why. We don't? Yeah. No, well, I never knew that. <laughs> yeah, we have no detention. So you guys can, like, wear, like, any anything, basically? Well, uh, the girls. The yeah. girls have to have, like, a... Some, they have a limit to their shorts, like a dress code. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. They cannot wear crop tops either. So like, yeah. 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 The the shorts and the shorts have to be the a certain length. Like, we'll get measured. Like, we'll have like a uniform check day, and like they'll have to be measured a certain length. Like, so literally. Four inches. Four inches so like, like, it cannot be too tight. No tools or what? Yeah, like, like when you stand, if the short like comes up like too high up your thigh, then like you'll get a detention. Wow. <laughs> like, so, so, <laughs> like the link, you wow. can't get them hemmed or anything. Like, you have to buy the short, keep them that length, and deal with it, or buy new shorts. What if it accidentally shrank in your dryer or something like that? <laughs> They'll get mad at you. Yeah. Then you need to go buy new shorts. They'll tell you you need to go buy new shorts, serve the detention, and go buy new shorts. How much does a shirt cost? 
They're pretty expensive. They're like, what, like $30? $30. 30 Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, can I ask how many do you have? <laughs> I have, well, I got all mine freshman year, so I have like three or four shorts, but they all have holes in them. Like, there's like, and I'm not going to buy new shorts and stuff, like, senior year, so like, I'm walking around with holes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys like petition or something like protest about like lowering the cost of the shirts or something? Yeah, well, we buy them from like a third party school, so like the school does control it. A place called Dennis Uniforms controls it. And like all the schools in this area go and buy their clothes from there, so. And a lot of them are like hand me downs from like siblings and friends. But like, like every year I feel like they change the rule too. So like. It's like sometimes, like next year they're getting rid of the skorts, so the girls who have who bought skorts they can't wear skorts next year. So that's kind of a waste of money. And so yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like give or take. Poor you guys. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. But do you guys like uniform though? The only, like, positive thing, like, for me is that, like, you aren't judged by what you wear, you know, like, you aren't like, oh, she has a pair of Uggs and she has a pair of Vans, you know, like, you aren't looking like that, well, like, from a girl's perspective, and, you know, kind of like that, and you don't have to pick out what you're wearing in the morning kind of deal, and I like everyone kind of looks the same, and, you know, everyone looks, you know, the same, I guess, is kind of, yeah, you know, I don't know, that's kind of what I like, I don't know if it's different. Yeah, I mean, for guys, it's really easy, we all probably have, like, two shirts that we just alternate, we don't even have to alternate, we can wear the same <laughs> shirt every day, it's all, it's fine. <laughs> and do you feel safe outside of school when, with your... what was that? Can you say it again? Do you feel safe outside of school with your uniform? Yeah. I mean, like, you get weird looks with people, like, if you go, like, like from school to, like, a store, people will be, like, looking at you, like, what is, what are they wearing? But <laughs> I think it's fine. It doesn't, bug, it doesn't bug me. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it's a big deal. Yeah. I think, like, after you've been here for so long, you just get used to it. Yeah, I bet. Um, do you have any fight on the school uniform? Any what? Fights. Fights? Oh. Oh, I want to hear that. All right, but um, do you guys have any like problems with other schools, like because of the uniforms? Like you guys have a different uniform, and the other school has a different uniform. Like. Do you uh, the other school in the area that has uniforms is called Juan Diego, and they it's similar to ours, so there's not usually any problems. Like they have different like school colors, and so like their uniform kind of reflects the colors, but it's still like blue like, and white yeah. shirts. So it's basically the same. So there's no like not, art no fights with that. So I, I was wondering if the judge students could think about. Um, Danik, am I saying name right? Danik's question, which really is about bullying. Um, do you think that she's on to something by putting these two topics together? Or what do you think? I mean, we've pretty much gone to private school for like forever, so we don't have much experience in public school. But um, I don't know, yeah, you, there's not much judgment about like fashion here. Like The most you can change is your shoes, because you can have whatever shoes you want, except for boots. And I don't really, I personally don't see any bullying involving uniforms and stuff. Yeah, and being a girl, and girls are usually full of that when it comes to fashion and stuff, and I really don't ever see any of that here either. Like, there was, like, girls wanted to get boots because of, you know, Utah snows pretty bad and walking up the hill sucks, and you're walking up with vans. Um, <laughs> you don't like that, but I don't really see a lot. It's mostly, you know, everyone comes, everyone's pretty welcoming, everyone wears the same uniform, and it's pretty fine. Every, like, yeah, like Evan said, going to private school, there really isn't a lot of bullying 
going around, so. It's going really well. Do we want to go to a new topic? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, my senior topic is about Middle Eastern youth, but that's the, the general topic. Um, I'd like to go more into that. It's the effects of Middle Eastern, I mean, Middle Eastern teens who have to work in this, their family store while having to juggle their education. I've never seen that before. The unfairness of having to work full time and probably even extra, and also having to go to school at the same time. What Say your kind name. Of name one more time. Sorry. Uh, uh, Bassam. Bassam. OK, thanks. Um, what kind of information have you found on that? Pardon me? What kind of information have you like found on that topic? What information have you found on that topic? Well, I found that um, students who work and try to go to school are more likely to have lesser grades because all the stress, because of all the stress they have to go through because of the store, and then having to stay up at night to do their work, or there's, there's a higher chance of those who work to drop out of high school. And Are you going to like talk about like stress in your research paper, you think? Yes, I am. Um, because of the stress, you know, some, some of the uh, Middle Eastern uh, teens that come to school, they look older. And uh, <laughs> that, yeah. Like, they literally... They literally are only 18 years old, and they got wrinkles in their eyes, which is crazy. It's not cool. <laughs> because of all the stress of having to deal with uh, trying to keep up their grades and also having to work in their store, and then they still have to take other responsibilities outside their education in the store. That's a really interesting topic. I didn't know about that. I think that's really cool. Do you guys have any comments? It's good. Oh, by the way, I would like to point, get this out there. I'm about to, I'm planning on having a Google Hangout for those who work and go to school. They don't have, necessarily have to be Middle Eastern, but I just wanted to, I'm planning to Google Hangout, so if any of the students in your school have, you know, go to, you know, are going to work and school, <laughs> to contact me. Well, we'll definitely tell our teacher and let him know. Right, cool. Basam, have you found any statistics on that yet? That seems like a tricky thing to find you know, numbers for. Uh, did he just ask about Middle Eastern students? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Monday and Friday at the same time, there's, uh, in my new media class, there's three students that are uh, Middle Eastern descent, yeah, which might be an interesting conversation. He's wanting to do a Google Hangout. Okay, yeah. I mean, well, they can working at school. Right. Yeah. What? Monday and Friday? Pass that all. Mr. Sloan, can we do that Monday or tomorrow or next week on Friday? Tomorrow, what time is our period seven with the assembly? Do you know? Wait, you know? Um, next Monday would be a regular day. We could do it. Next Monday? At this same time? Yeah, we could do it. It's their lunch hour. Basan doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, uh, Irani Iranian, uh, Pakistani, and uh, Indian in that section. So, I mean, it's Indian, Pakistani, what? Iranian. Oh. And uh, Pakistani, Iranian, and uh, I think Indian. So. Wait, but do they do they work? Uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm sure they could talk about you know work and uh, you're looking for Middle Eastern students who work. Yes. Yeah, uh, I don't know off the top of my head, but I know that there are, those people are in another class that meet on Monday. Oh, okay, cool. I mean. Just to clarify, um, Mr. Sloan, uh, the, they're also looking, the Sloan's also looking for people who, who have work after school and go to school, no matter what their background. Okay. In addition. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we could shoot Joe uh, 
for Monday, because um, I'm pretty sure we'd have some people who could talk about that there, too. Next topic? Or I just <laughs> want to make sure everyone gets a chance. Shubi wants to talk about her topic. Please. Cool. Uh, uh, well, my general topic is basically animal abuse in the U.S., but to make it more specific, I just um, did more in California. And, um, basically, it's uh, dog and cat um, animal abuse. So basically, all I've found out is statistics uh, and um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> um, what made you decide to research that? Can you ask that again? Uh, what made you decide to research that topic? Oh, well, the reason is because I've always, I'm an animal lover, and since I was a kid, I always loved animals, so I figured. That's a hard topic to research. Is there a lot of sad stuff? Yeah, very. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a good, like, stuff to research, but I bet that's hard. What are you doing? <laughs> Good afternoon, Chief Cheers. This is Ms. Royal in the attendance locket. Yeah. Uh, announcement. Okay. Sorry. Last week or any other week that you have last What's happening? Let me sneak in, um, and uh, I, this is to Evan. Evan, um, I don't know. Ask Mr. Sloan to show you, but find, find the Youth Voices Crocodile folder because I put up. Um, I have a student who's a sixth grader, and her question is, is there life beyond the stars? So I'd like for the two of you to talk. And, you know, at first it was this, um, just sort of the stars are beautiful, there must be life out there. But there's a, there's a Drake formula. Do, do you know about the Drake formula, which actually tries to think about the probability of whether there would be life on another planet um, in a very scientific way? So that's up there, and so look at look under life in outer space. I think is the folder. Okay. Yeah, there's also another student in my class doing something with space, so I can get him involved in it too. Yeah, that sounds cool. Thank you. And I, and I wanted to, I wanted to pull Carter in and say I did, we put up a, a few articles about hipsters as well. Um, really? So, but I, I was just wondering what a hipster would think about your uniform. Um. Well, I'm just messing I'm pretty, with you. I'm pretty hip, so. <laughs> You're pretty hip. He is pretty hip. I'll second that. <laughs> I'll give him some rep for that one. Okay. So it's not what you wear? No. It limits me, but I'll live. <laughs> Next topic. Sorry. Let me get out of this again. Who else would like to bring up? Uh, so my name is Kathy. I'm, not, I'm Kathy. I was going to say that. Oh, anyways, my topic is about inequality in the constru construction industry. So basically, like, there's a, there's this idea of men running that sector, which is, like, for me, a big problem. Because I was, I'm in Architecture Academy, so I'm involved in construction class and the other um, things with another class, like, such as graphic design. But, yeah, like, construction, like, just came to me because... Um, there's guys that would think like, oh, you can't do this because you're a girl and you're small and just might as well let a guy do it because we can do it way better. Yeah. First of all, you go, girl, is what I have to say. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> but um, I can relate to that because we've been talking about, like, gaming and, like, the whole girl gamer stuff. So, like... Mm -hmm when people are like, oh, girl gamers, you can't be a gamer or whatever. So, like, I totally get that. So, like, have you found, like, a lot of information, like, with researching yet? I have, like, gone to field trips where, like, we would go to some construction site. Like, we recently, like, previously, yeah, we recently went to some UC San Francisco construction site, like, where they're building this new health center thing kind of thing. And I did kind of got to in interview a girl there, and then she basically said, she basically said it was a lot of help, a lot of helpful information that she gave me for my topic. 
and like, now I'm in the um, process of doing serving like the the girls in our academy that to have taken construction class and that are taking construction class because like the semester just barely like second semester has recently started. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. That's really cool. I think that's like such a cool topic. Like I would never like put that together, but now that you're talking about it, I think that's really cool. So that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have any. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> no, girl. <laughs> Same. So let, let me let me uh, underline, and I want to say one one more thing about that. I'm wondering if the topic can broaden out. I mean, it doesn't have to. But, you know, um, the make community and the do-it-yourself, do I think some of you are making things. Um, there are a lot of questions there also about um, to what degree does that appeal to girls um, and how, you know, how that, you know, so that's that might be worth looking into as well. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know it's DIY community. You can you can connect it. Okay, good. Cool. DJ, yeah. do you wanna Oh go? <laughs> Well my project is about well, I did it last week, it's about sports, how football, how to reduce contact, like how can you change the rules to make concussions and other injuries more not like to pro and to amateur. Like how can you change the rules to prevent injuries? I remember that. Yours is way interesting, and I can't wait to, like, read the finished product, like, to see what you think and such. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can the folks from Fremont explain what your field um, research is about? What's it called? Field notes or something? Yeah, field, field research. research. So, because I don't, I don't think Judge is doing that, and... When you when you say this, you know, Chris, Mr. Sullen will add this to judges' requirements. To I'm just teasing, but how how does that work? What do you have to do for your field research? So, wait, you want to go first? Okay, so pretty much we got to do 20 hours, of 20 hours of just research outside of the classroom. Like we get we get help of ideas from our from Ms. P. On like what to do and how to do and all that, but then we, it's only us that we got to go, actually get the information. So this is like this is gonna be like firsthand hardcore evidence of our <laughs> pretty much our uh, um, our recent, I mean our topic. Yeah. So that's. That's basically it. So some students, like me personally, I'm doing interviews, and also I'm doing Google Hangouts of those who work and go to school. And what you're doing here. like me, I would have to go into, like I said before, I went into the construction site. I had to get out there, talk about it. But I also have my construction teacher, which who is not just a teacher. He used to work in construction with other people, so like I, he's like a good resource for me. And so yeah. What about you guys? Um, for me, what I did was only interviewing people, and I'm trying to interview some of them. Oh, well, for my field research, well, uh, I'm starting from the traditional kind of survey. I'm do a survey, but then I'm going to kind of upgrade it. And use like the internet to like um, get more opinions from other people like around. Me. Yeah, and you can publish those surveys on Youth Voices and get more response from it too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or links to it. Yeah. And on on the judge side, I, I know Mr. Sloan has had his students in the past. I don't know if he's told you yet, but find experts um, through social media and so forth about your topic. Have you talked about that yet? Uh, no, like so far we've just like gone on EBSCO and like done site operators mm -hmm. and like Google, just like finding like brief facts right now. And like today we were supposed to talk about it and like that's what they were doing in group of threes and talk about what we've researched so far to like kind of 
know what we need to research more of and what we already have and things like that. But that's all we've really done is just like actually find our topic, what we have and what we need more of. So I'm sure that's coming up any time now. So, yeah. DJ, you wanted to say something? Oh, uh, no, I had a question for the guy in the back with you about Mars. <laughs> about Mars, like, is it like, do you feel that there's any chance that there'd be a lot of money going through it if we, like, try to go to Mars? Like, like we have to put in a lot of things to go there because it's really far from the moon. Like yeah, it's, it's pretty far, so they have to put a lot of work into it. And, like, they have, there's been a lot of things they've tried to launch to Mars, which is a lot of money, but they've failed, like they've exploded or whatever. And we only have like two rovers on Mars, so it definitely would cost like a lot of money to be there with a real person instead of just like robots. I don't know, it's something I'll have to research more. So would there be any chance of sitting like a human? I mean, yeah, I think there's a chance, but I don't know what they do there, really. <laughs> I I've heard I've heard that if you were, Mars is so far away, that if you came back, uh, the people you knew wouldn't be alive anymore. What? So I'm not I've sure heard that's that. Um, yeah, I took an astronomy class and we talked about that. It's weird yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's weird stuff. Um, but our class just ended, so yeah, we gotta we go. gotta go to our next class. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to Latin. So. School is nice. It has bells. It uh, <laughs> organizes our lives. So, Great. so thanks, you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Allison. Thank you. Bye.